for me, I think that it's it's important to make sure you share work, and we all know that, you know, as, as professionals, and, and most of us have uh, creative experiences where we've critiqued and we put our souls out there and had them crushed uh, and that sort of thing. So, you know, we commonly do that. But what, I, what I've experienced is that uh, for a, a very long period of time, I would share it with colleagues and people who were in the arts, uh, people who had very similar interests and likes to me as far as taste and style. And what I've learned is the most honest feedback that I think you can get is from people who aren't really experts, you know, that they just had this authentic, genuine sort of gut response and reaction uh, to things. Uh, I, I learned in, in some of my former roles that some of the most effective designers were those who the brand wasn't really appealing to. So I talked about Victoria's Secret briefly, but I saw that there were a lot of male designers at Victoria's Secret, mostly women designers, but male designers. We never bought the product, but because we really didn't know the product, we had a, uh, uh, an interest, a curiosity to really understand the audience and understand the business. And it made our product and our uh, development of our promotions much stronger. So I, so I really enjoy and I encourage individuals recruiting people who are uh, really not experts and getting getting those opinions and balancing that against those of the you know the creative experts that's great advice so someone who's objective and impartial and is not kind of in the weeds so to speak of the absolutely. brand uh, yeah. uh, absolutely someone who just it's a fresh eye no experience and they're really going by their gut and that's kind of the reaction with a lot of things we want is how do you initially see it and how do you respond to it when you see it you know that's a really good point robert i think like there's the sort of in the Hollywood movie corollary, that's sort of testing, right? Like they're not like getting critic reviews, but they're gathering, you know, when back when you can go into a movie theater, like you could have like, you know, a hundred people just off the street giving, giving sort of their impartial feedback and that goes, gets back to the studio. So that's, that's a corollary to what you're talking about. People who don't have a, um, a, a bias one way or the other, that, that sometimes can get the best feedback. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's just honesty and, uh, you know, they don't have a vested interest or they're not, they don't have a bias. They just have an opinion.